welcome back to coding stuff and this is second part of our instag blog app and in this video we'll implement sign in activity and we'll also implement the menu and at the start i will just fix that action bar thing okay so the solution that i have came with uh, just change the name of this style like i will write here app theme and in manifest uh, over here in themes you can just write the app theme so there are other solutions also but uh, i prefer this one because i want to remove action uh, action bar from all the activities so if you want to remove the action bar from specific activity you can just uh, write here theme and you can write here any you can select here any action bar that you want for that particular activity so we will be creating our own toolbar so i don't need the action bar in any activity okay so i think that will work first now we will design our sign in activity okay so i can just copy code from sign up activity from here i will select all the codes so control a and control c I'll paste it over here. Okay, so here's the image. We have to change this. So I'll just copy this image and I will paste it in our Dropbox folder. So I have downloaded this image from freepeak.com and I also added the attribution. So if you want to use same image, you can check out that link in the description box. So instead of sign up, I'll write here hashtag, and we need to change ID of this image view. So we'll be not using this image view, so I will keep it as image view three, and select the scope here as a current file refractor. Okay, okay. So that's our image view. Now we need to change our ID of this text view. So let's just write as text view three. Hit enter, and we can select here current file refractor. and i will add another string value so new string value let's name it as a sign in sign in hit enter and those edit text will be same we'll just need to change its id so instead of sign up we'll write here sign in email change the scope to the current file click on refractor and then enter password so this will be sign in pass hit enter refractor for select current file refractor then we have this button again we just need to change this up to the in and we need to change uh, the text so i will select sign in text so this will be sign up text and the text will be not registered yet sign up okay so this is our design now we'll collect all the widgets id and also we'll require the authentication so private firebase auth let's name it as m auth So m auth equals to Firebase auth dot get instance, and then we'll find all the IDs. Okay, so we have founded all the IDs of our widget. So now we'll first work on this text. So 
sign up text dot set on click list a new on click list now and we'll just start the activity so start activity new intent and sign in activity that is to sign up activity dot class okay and one thing in our sign up activity so this should be and so let's make it and because we don't want to proceed uh, if one of this is empty so both should not empty then we'll proceed with our creating user email and with his email and password okay so in the sign in activity we'll do the same so sign in button dot set on click listener new on click listener and he will first collect the strings so string email equals to our sign in email dot get text dot to string and then string pass sign in pass dot get text dot to string and we'll check if both are not empty so email is empty and pass is empty then we'll proceed else we can display one toast so that will be please enter email and password same please enter email and password okay so here we'll call our authentication so mauth dot sign in you sign in with email and password and here we have to pass two strings same so email and pass then we can add on complete listener so add on complete listener new on complete listener and inside this we'll check if the task is successful so task is successful else we can display another toast so that will be the exception so task dot get exception dot get message or to string we can use both then over here we just have to start the activity so start activity new intent form sign in activity dot this to main activity dot class and we'll write here finish and we can display one toast also so toast login successful and in our sign up activity we can also display here toast registered successfully okay so this should work now we'll first uh, implement our menu and then we'll test this out so our main activity over here and activity main okay so over here we'll just change this activity uh, in the last video i have told you that we need to change this activity so this will be sign in activity so if the user is not logged in we'll send him to the sign in activity and he can log in there okay so in activity main uh, we need our custom toolbar so just right here toolbar so this one android x dot app compact dot widget toolbar and width will be match parent and height will be wrap content it may select the background color so this will be dark blue and you can provide id to it so id will be toolbar or let's say main toolbar and we'll provide theme to this so theme will be okay so this okay so now we need to constrain this so horizontal and parent and to the top so padding will be margin will be zero over here I have provided the ID main toolbar ok cool so we will collect that private toolbar main toolbar main toolbar equals to find view by id r dot id dot main toolbar 
okay so now we need to create one menu so click on this resource click on new and android resource directory uh, resource type select here menu click on ok and then we will create another resource file so menu resource file let's name it as main menu ok so we just need two items so just drag one by one and the title should be let me add another string so this will this will be profile and this will be sign out okay so let's just provide them id also sign out menu and to this profile menu okay so that's it for main menu now we need to override one method to inflate this menu layout in our main activity so on create option menus and before this return statement we will write get menu inflator dot inflate and we will write tr dot menu dot main menu and then we have to pass this menu coming from here and instead of just returning this we will return here true and then semicolon okay so this will inflate the menu items but we want to add uh, on click listener to them so for that we will write will override another method that is on option item selected okay so before overriding this method uh, we'll just set title of our main toolbar so set support action bar and we'll pass our main toolbar over here okay so this should be from coming from android x so let me just re-import this so press alt enter and select the first one okay so this should fix now okay as you can see then we have to write get support action bar dot set title and we'll write here in stack or app name okay so that's it now we'll override this method first of all i will just delete this return statement and so here we'll check which menu item has been clicked so for that just write item dot get item id and we'll check if it is equals to r dot id dot my profile or profile menu then we'll write some code here have save item dot get item id is equals to r dot id dot sign out menu this one and below this we will just return the true ok so profile menu will come back here later but so here we have to write firebase auth dot sign out so this will sign out the user from firebase and our app also then we can just start the new activity and we can send the user to the login activity so from main activity dot this to login activity sorry sign in activity dot class and we can just finish finish so that's it and now we'll test our app uh, it is working or not so i'll hit on the run button so as you can see that uh, action bar is invisible now okay so enter email let's enter coding gmail.com and password was coding123 hit on sign in so login successful you can see the toast and you can see our action toolbar you can see our customized toolbar his menu icon let me just click on this 
you can see my profile and sign out one thing we need to change the we need to change this uh, instag and this menu icon color so we'll do that now so in our activity main so i will cut this uh, theme and i'll paste this so i have cut that theme and i have paste this theme overlay dot app compact dot dark and dot action bar this theme so it will change the color of that menu item and menu icon and our app name that is instag so i have connected my device and so let's see okay you can see that instag and menu icon is changed to the white color so if i click on this so this is black now okay it's fine so if i hit on the sign out button it will take us to the sign in screen so that's working pretty fine so so that's it for this video in the next video we'll work on that setup profile page so do subscribe and thank you for watching